Hi, this is Mr. Estabrooks with another Autodesk Inventor video. So today we're going to uh, start with our assembled puzzle cube, which mine looks something like this, and we're going to learn how to make uh, the presentation view, or what I call the exploded view, uh, which looks like this. So uh, you'll have to have completed your assembly, and then to make the presentation view, we go New, and uh, choose the, uh, it's on the other screen here, let's bring that over, choose the uh, standard IPN template and uh, it's going to ask you for your assembly view that you want to start with so um, pick my assembly view then uh, the way we pull these apart is by doing what's called a series of tweaks so up here in the ribbon you'll see tweak components and uh, what we want to do is we want to grab one at a time and pull it out so uh, one of the problems I see students have is they select multiple parts. So you want to make sure you click only one part. I'm going to pull the green part out first. Now notice the arrow points that way, but I can grab the arrow and drag it out like that. Then I'll click the green check mark and I've pulled out that green part. And I just want to repeat that same process. You need to make sure you're pulling the parts out along an axis that they would physically be able to, uh, to do. So, um, for example, if I pick the pink part, I think Autodesk Inventor will let me pull it up this way, but I can't actually pull that pink part through the yellow part. So, I don't want to pull it up. I want to drag it down. Click OK. Then I want to pull that yellow part out, and I can pull that out this way. And actually, you only need to do uh, four tweaks to pull the four parts away from the center. And... Uh, leaving the the first part that we started with there so that's essentially it for uh, for your set now you may have to tweak this to fit it on your final uh, bill of materials drawing which I'll be doing a video of late uh, later on um, and the last thing you need to do is create a uh, snapshot view and this is going to be the view that will go into your drawing so if I just click new snapshot view you'll see up here now it's got a snapshot we can save that as uh, assembly uh, .ipn. I'm just going to name this uh, for the today's class. Click OK and now that assembly file is saved and we'll be using that in a drawing that we're going to create later on. This is Mr. Est Estabrooks. Thanks for watching.